Kelly and I'm one of the care artists at Lith Art Centre. The project started as a series of design booklets because um, we couldn't do much with COVID restrictions so it was, um, design packs were sent out to 150 households. So we managed to do an outdoor workshop in June with four people, four kids and I think all of them have come back on the summer school which is great. Um, so we've done one set, one set of workshops and then this is a kind of main main summer school event where it's a full week of uh, metal workshops and each day they're doing different projects and learning different skills. So when we were in school we did the salt gates in, um, in Wick High School, we designed them in our art class so I thought it would be really cool to kind of do a round circle project where then I'm delivering a, a project doing metal work inspired by the fishing industry with the kids. So by the end of the week we're going to have a kind of loose uh, version of a sculpture that then after the project we're going to solder all together all the pieces that the kids have made during the week. I think the initial plan would have been weekly workshops with the kids, um, doing like little parts of the project and it would have been a more kind of slower but longer process whereas this is now, it's just been like an intense week of metal work because obviously now the restrictions have lifted enough for us to be able to work outside in a group. Um, but I think it's quite good in a way because it is, it's kind of just pinpointed their week. They're focused on nothing apart from this for a whole week. And each day they're building day by day rather than coming to one session a week. You know, they're, they're just kind of going for it and getting it, getting it thrown at them all at once. But I think it's been a really good, good learning curve for them all. So the first thing I usually do with groups is make a ring because it's like, Oh my god, that's amazing! <laughs> and you do all the um, you do all the techniques, so you get a little taste of cutting and soldering and texturing and forming. Like if you've never made a ring before, you would think it's a really complex thing to do. Where actually, it's broken down into steps, it's quite simple. So then they're kind of that moment that they finish their ring and they get back and they're like, "Wow, this is the best thing in the world." <laughs> it's uh, that's the most rewarding thing. It's always. Just seeing them like delighted themselves uh, and like kind of proud of what, what they've done. We're here in Caithness in a tent in blowing wind and rain and that, look, all their heads are down and they're just working away, making their jewellery, no complaints and just getting on with it. So they're obviously just having a good time and they're a really lovely bunch and they've all, they've all kind of shown their own little individual um, flares as well. Like, like some of them have just gotten really engrossed in some of the techniques. Other ones are more about the drawing and the design and the aesthetic and others are just loving learning all the, all the techniques really. This is something that I could do as a, as a continuing project. So every kind of summer or Easter or October holidays we do a, a metalwork school in the summer holidays. I think if you were going to do this course out with it being funded, I mean it would be about £500 a kid. You know, so because they've had the funding and the opportunity to come in and come and do this without having the, the cost implications, because I mean, I don't know if everyone would be able to afford it otherwise. And um, they've been given an amazing experience and opportunity just just by it being funded. Um, and they're going home with all this amazing jewellery that they've made all week.